I have a question. It's a very personal one. Okay. Just gonna, just gonna All right. just leave with that. Who hosts the Got Watch Party? Game of Thrones. Who's hosting? Because I, I feel like one Joe, of y'all has Joe, to. Joe, ho yeah, Joe hosts a pretty, pretty epic one. one this Sunday. Did you? Yeah, I rented out a theater for for my girl. It's a private theater, but we had a, a lot of fun. It was loud because we were screaming the whole time. No spoilers, but right. It was a brutal episode. <laughs> Sophie's uh, uh, commentary, though, after, like, she is, is it not the best thing that you've ever? It's the best. I think she's kind of the voice of the people. And she's so regal in the show that it's nice to see that wall kind of come down and see the real Sophie and her uh, Instagram responses. Got it. Ah, ah yeah. yeah. Got reference, got reference. I didn't even mean to. <laughs> I don't know anything about the dragons because I'm just getting into it right now and I apologize. I'm two. trying. It's a lot of catch up on, but it's worth it. Where do I start? If I don't want to go to number one, where do I you go? Have to start at the beginning. You have to. 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 I do? Yeah. All the way. Yeah. What do I wear? How do I get prepared for this? What do I wear? <laughs> I don't know how to answer that, but watch the show and you'll, you'll figure it out. Okay, okay. When yeah. you guys take the stage tonight, is there anybody in particular you'll be thinking about? Is there anything, any moment that any in particular you'll be thinking about? You know, sometimes you dedicate it to yourself. Yeah, this performance in particular, we thought about a lot, and we, we wanted to tell kind of an unexpected story, but in a story that's really important to us about kind of what brought us back together in these years we've been apart. Um, so expect the unexpected, but know that it's, it's kind of our journey that led us back together. I have to say, I was particularly moved by a video you guys just shared with your fans when you announced you guys were coming back on coming back coming back as a band what was it like to to see that to hear those stories of people who've been so moved by what you guys have done I think it was really a confirmation for us to know that we're doing the right thing again doing this together because we needed to make sure we're good and figure out that stuff that we w went through for so many years but also like for these fans this is a lot of our music is the soundtracks to their lives. It's, it's kind of what they grew up listening to. Good times, bad times. And so for us, we were like really moved and touched. We're like, wow, we, we got to get up there and play shows for these fans as well. They deserve it just as much as we want to get through this for them. Yeah. yeah. What would we call it right now if there's a term? Because the brothers are all here. We're married now. It's a different time. We're back on tour, though. People, by the way, you put out hit after hit. doesn't matter what year it is. We're here again. We're going on tour. And we're here at the Billboard Awards. A lot is happening for all of you guys again. What would we call that right now where we're at? This time in your lives. Happiness Begins. You know, that's the name of the album. It's kind of where we're living our lives. You know, we went into this process and really said we, when we'd walk into those writing sessions and do that stuff in the studio, it was like we want to bottle happiness. So for us, that's what we're doing. We're just having fun, and now we're here and loving every bit of it. Bottling the happiness and selling it out there because I will purchase one or uh, two at least. It's turning into number one yeah. singles, so we're not <laughs> mad at that. If you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it.